أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد. So I wanted to make a video on traditional Islam versus authentic Islam, uh, or we could say uh, traditional Islam versus authentic Islam, or in just state preservation Islam, Islam, or justice establishing process Islam, right? Again, there's traditional Islam, right? And then, and we have two versions, two main versions of traditional Islam, Sunni Islam and Shia Islam. We'll talk about that later in a different video. And then you have state, pres then you have Authentic Islam, meaning Quranic Islam, Islam as the Prophet ﷺ embodied, enacted, practiced it. Of course, traditional Islam claims that they are authentic Islam, but they're not. And so the main difference between them is that traditional Islam uh, preserves as its outcome. If you practice traditional Islam, particularly Sunni traditional Islam, which is the vast majority, because Sunniism has a traditional, a, a traditional Sunniism has a pragmatic political theory and has a pragmatic legal theory. For that reason, it it not only produces injustice through practicing it, but the unjust state that exists at the top because. Uh, pragmatic political theory in Sunniism or the foundation of Sunniism is pragmatic political theory and it began with Muawiyah and even before Muawiyah Hazrat Abu Bakr radiyanhu, is a proto-pragmatist he wasn't looking at the Masliyat of the Nafs he was looking at the Masliyat of Iqamut din and maybe the Masliyat of the Ummah but Muawiyah looked at the Masliyah of his own Nafs and the Masliyah of of uh, kuwa and siyasa, right? And this is not the masliya of, that Hazrat Abu Bakr radiyallahu looked at, but this this act of Muawiyah, the pragmatic foundations of Sunniism were laid because they accepted Muawiyah, and they made it that in Islam we have to accept people like Muawiyah at the, at the pinnacle, like as a king or whatever, as the political authority. We have to accept that, and Islam is under that, not above that. So what it happened over 1400 years is when you accept pragmatic political theory, which is the pinnacle of legal theory, slowly, slowly, slowly over the next 1400 years, uh, all of Sunniism, all the legal thinking becomes pragmatic. You know, that's the beginning, that's the beginning of the Khata and it cascades into Sunniism becoming basically Yehudified and becoming increasingly, increasingly pragmatic, right? That's what happens over the 1400 years is this pragmatization process. And you build this tradition of pragmatic legal theory and response to which you have idealistic uh, psychological theory which is Sufism Sufism is the antithesis of of the pragmatic legal theory uh, of, of Sunnism because you have this pragmatic legal theory you have the king you need the priest to balance it out you need the priest to pacify the people uh, and, and you need the king to oppress them and they work together the king and the priest and so Sufi, the Sufi and and the king work together in that way where you need the pacification of the people and that's idealism the afim of the people the opium of the masses is sufism and then you have um then you have like the the pragmatic legal structure or political structure now let's talk about uh, authentic islam or quranic islam as opposed to this and, and let me say a few instances so in traditional islam this is not Quran that you have to obey your parents absolutely or that your parents have the right to dictate to you completely within within the limits of haram and faraid. If something is farz, they cannot prevent you from it. If something is uh, uh, farz, they cannot prevent you from it. And if, if something is haram, they cannot make you do it. And within that, you have to obey them. This is not the Quran. This is traditional Islam because what happens is as you grow older you become more pragmatic and so if you build absolute obedience into the young people of the older generation what happens is even though when you're young 
you're more natively idealistic if anything but you're just natively the fitra is salim and you're adil but when you you program this i this this into the kid they have to absolutely obey the older generation what happens is even though the children remain idealistic and ad adil in and of themselves when they're young they act pragmatically because of their parents and therefore uh, or through obedience of their parents and so the the structure overall through the the structure of the family unit the political pragmatic structure remains preserved now when you come to quranic islam or you come to authentic islam authentic islam is yasin wal quran al mubin innaka la mina al mursalin ala sirat al mustaqim tanzilun min al aziz ar rahim tanzilun min al aziz ar rahim sirat al mustaqim is the tanzil from from the aziz ar rahim you know <coughs> and the tanzil is a process so really the sirat al mustaqim is a process of establishing justice on the earth it is a justice establishing process that's what islam is so islam when it's authentic is not preserving an unjust state it's actually establishing a just state globally but at least it's establishing a just state so when you have authentic quranic islam uh you have uh people who are struggling who are in a process we're not fully trying to be like oh we're sinful because we're not living the medina islam when we're in the beginning stages of makkah no i'm not a sinner because i cannot follow all the ahkamat of medina and makkah we are way in makkah there's no possible way i can follow all the laws of sharia and especially not with the hukw- with the hikma right there's a hikma to the ahkamat there's a hikma to the tanzil there's a hikma to the tartib and nazul and so if i try to live the 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 islam that was present at the end of nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam's life those i will not even if i somehow manage to act on every single hukum and stay away from every single um you know uh, uh haram if i stay away from every single haram even then the ha- staying away from the haram won't have the same hikma doing the farais won't have the same hikma as they did in medina so what we have to do is we have to realize that islam is a justification process islam is a process of establishing justice on earth right and so it's a process islam and it's not trying to preserve a state it's not trying to preserve an unjust state authentic quranic islam is a process of establishing justice on earth and traditional islam is is the preservation of an unjust state right so as long as you keep those two things in mind and you are in the struggle you are a mujahid you're struggling to establish justice on earth and the quranic conception of justice then you are an authentic quranic momin and if you are uh trying to preserve the unjust state or your your observation of islam is such that it preserves and does not diminish an unjust state then you're a traditional muslim uh you're one of the worst creatures on the planet no i'm kidding you're not one of the worst creatures on the planet but you're definitely uh you're part of the problem because you're upholding a system which is what islam came to negate right anyway so i'll talk to you soon assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh